Hello and welcome to Board Nails Cult Rants and tonight I will be reviewing episode 101 of the new Tales of the City miniseries The Revival which dropped today on Netflix. So this is the revival of the original 1990 series starring Laura Linney and Olympia Dukakis. Um, it was the show that made a name for Laura Linney based on a series of novels around the same time and it originally debuted in 1993 so quite a while ago now. So it's been brought back by Netflix and Laura Linney returns to the role which made her famous. She plays Marianne Singleton. So in the original, she moves to a new city, um, a San Francisco based city. Um, The particular area is called Barberton Lane Avenue, I believe. And she, yeah, she's a bit of a fish out of water. It's her first time moving home and at first she struggles to fit in. And you have a a series of characters who are very different, very outgoing, very colourful in a way she's not used to. So it takes a bit of time for her to adjust to the town. And um, she kind of struggles to make a way as a woman also in a big city, in big city life. As I said, it's in San Francisco, so a bit more of a liberal location. But yeah, she still has certain issues at work trying to um, make a way up the ladder as a young woman. So that's kind of what the original was doing it it was sort of a coming of age type drama and at the same time it was really ahead of its time pushing boundaries for sort of um, queer and um, gay characters on tv which you very rarely saw at the time and sort of yeah really opening up tv to that so I've watched a couple of episodes from the original series I thought I'd watch at least a couple just to get ready for this video so I've I would like to have seen more but I've, I've seen the first couple so I'll just comment on them first of all um I thought they're okay um it's you can see how it's dated the original series obviously tv very different back then and it does have that sort of 90s kind of um set sitcom sort of soap sort of pacing and the production as well um obviously it's not not it's the way tv traditionally looked around then around that era but it's also the style with the dialogue this very conversational heavy dialogue very kind of dramatic and sort of heavy even the um very i don't know it's going for a sort of uh metaphorical analogy type dialogue and interaction um And so it's that sort of thing where it does come off as kind of soapy, although I think it's at least aiming for something a bit more profound with the characters and their interactions. So there's that, but I mean, it is a product of its time, and I, I did quite enjoy the first two episodes, you know, I mean, I think Laura Linney carries it very well because she's such a natural actress and she brings so much to that that central role as Mary Ann and from the start because it's you're following her and she is just such a natural you know from the start so you sort of get into the drama because you're seeing it through her and it's all very impressive and 
Yeah, certainly. I mean, I think the pacing drags in that first one, but I think it is obviously with it being a mini series, it is deliberately quite slow. And then there were, you know, a couple of follows on, but I will watch more of the original series um, at some point. But yeah, I mean, it was worth 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 um, watching. Sorry, even though it's quite dated. So I'm gonna be going through this new Netflix series, um, sort of an episode at a time. We'll see how we go. At least one episode per video so the first episode is called coming home and i think the point of it is obviously the Laura Linney character um as i said um Anne Marie and Mary returns to this location after a 20 year gap so she has a lot of baggage she's now married she comes to visit with her new husband and so there's kind of a collection of characters she knows from the past but there's also new ones introduced um so ellen page is one person they've added to the cast so again up market market sort of casting at least in some of the roles and yeah, Ellen Page is playing a character called um, Shauna, I believe. And she is, the suggestion is that she's the adopted daughter of Laura Linney's character. So um, that a thing in the past, which again, if you watch the older series, you, you'll know. If not, I guess, spoiler um I should warn you, I will obviously go into spoilers, but um, certainly for the first episode I can talk around quite a few things, but yeah, maybe best if you've seen the older show before watching. Um, so there's kind of tension there because um, the Ellen Page character um, feels that she has been abandoned in the past and actually is under the impression she is her daughter sort of thing and um, the Laura Linney character makes a point of saying you know there's been misinformation from her father or again I think it's adopted and so she's upset about that and they're at a party and um, obviously there's been drinking drugs a bit so there's a bit of confusion and yes yeah, some tension there between those two characters but yeah so i think the whole point is that the reason this has been brought back is it's to mark the passing of the time and again it's known for its queer um gay positive portrayals and and I think that's part of the, I mean, timing because of the whole thing, the whole situation in America at the moment. So, again, I think it's another revival to mark the passing of time and to con con contrast the two eras, essentially. And that's kind of the setup we open with the Anna character, the Olympia Dukakis character, and she... She is being filmed for a documentary, which this um, local journey, journalist is doing um, to particularly focus on sort of um, the, the culture really in the local area, but particularly looking at things like gay rights and the portrayal of it and how liberal the, set, the, the people are in the local area. So... Anna, who's essentially celebrating her 90th birthday in the episode, again, one of the returning characters, and that's kind of what the gathering is for, her sort of party, which is in the, the same apartment building as the original series set, so she was the landlord in the original series. 
and she's the one being filmed on the video at the beginning and that's kind of the opening and quite a natural nice um, smooth introduction I think and she's obviously this big figurehead of the show and yeah she, she has some quite good lines throughout um, so it's it's questioned by the journalist um, is it is this and how does it compare to back in the 60s and um, Anna almost suggests it's the same but she has this funny line about sort of um, people still struggling people being narciss narcissistic um, but yeah try doing their best sort of thing which is this funny sort of contrasting sort of line um, so it's a nice intro back into the world of the show and characters and yeah obviously now jumping forward to the Netflix, Netflix era obviously you can tell a lot of money has been poured into this and the production values are a lot more smooth a lot more slick uh, yeah, it has a, a, a more prettier sort of cinematic look. I mean, not full-blown cinematic, but yeah, certainly at market values. I think one of the early shots when they're in the apartment building or, or you've got a, a few of the characters outside is it sort of switches around and it's quite a, quite a smooth um, sort of transition and i think that's one of the things the pacing is a lot more smoother a lot slicker than in the original show it doesn't labor so much on the sort of conversational heavy di dialogue i mean it does a little bit and i'll get more into that but yeah just the way it's directed the episode it looks a lot a lot a, a lot smarter and a lot snappier sort of the pacing so that's that's obviously one difference you'll be able to tell and so the episode sort of serves as a kind of a time capsule uh, really a nod to the fans uh, it it sort of makes modern references about technology at times they overdo it with that that feels a bit too force again a bit like box ticking and they just do it too many times but it's obviously there's some smart lines in there about modern technology and just modern ways and there's quite nice ways to mark the passing of time so you see the Laura Linney character on the way in flying on the plane with her husband and she's sort of flicking through pictures of of her friends in the past sort of thing but obviously it's on a modern device, it's on her phone. So things like that it's quite interesting because it, it's sort of um, bringing the two the earlier show together with this one and sort of modernizing it and actually one of the best scenes in the episode which is actually quite touching is that the Ellen Page character later on sort of at the end of the day when she's gone home she looks at she it's revealed she has these videos and the videos are essentially of her, her well, mother, the Laura Linney characters, shows, you know, she's she's been a celebrity on TV. And I think that's part of the tension, the fact that the Paige character feels and her mother deserted her and went off and had this flash career and does this, or at least did this late night talk show and these commercials but there's actually quite a sweet moment when we see the page character as I should get a name I'll get a name for the keeps that I know it's Shauna I believe um, but she has kept these videotapes of her mother on, on her shows and so she goes back and watches them 
and that's later after she's had a fight with her mother but it's just a sweet little moment because it's like even though she's mad at her she has still kept these tapes and it's a way to keep a memory to have a positive and it's her way of actually being supportive in her own way and I quite like the fact that she uses them to relax in in, in the evening so that bit I, I did find truly touching or quite touching so that was quite nicely done and more subtle than maybe some of the other moments or interactions in the episode um, so yeah we get this interactive reflective sort of moment like when the Laura Linney character Mary Ann Singleton walks into the party and yeah it just has this slow motion magical sort of bright sort of feel to it and again that's that's quite nice nicely done and this the first half of the episode anyway feels like a, a reintroduction to this world to these characters and some of the others and that certainly in her her point of view that's quite successful as far as the way it flows and just yes yeah, setting things up just as i said being kind of respectful to the original show and sort of linking it in and i mean there's no doubt laura linney a great actress it's a great cue having her back for this and she seems to fit right back in and obviously ellen page another bit of top casting in fact their scenes together there's two or three probably the highlight of the episode you really get the tension you really get a natural chemistry they feed off each other and there's a true power to their scenes um, which is very effective in a way the rest of the episode all the interactions just aren't so I think that's definitely the high point of this first episode and I'll also say that I think the um, if I can think the Laura Linney's husband, Marianne's husband, he he actually has this interest in sort of feeling where he's again he's a fish out of water a bit like she was in the past and he arrives with her and he's I think certainly as far as this world is concerned seems to be this very sort of middle class smart looking kind of conservative man a lot more reserved and yeah he feels like a fish out of water rubbing up against these more colorful outgoing characters and i thought that was quite well done how out of touch he felt and yeah how he was going through that and the tension and then later on which i think was a bit of a misstep but it'll be interesting what they do with it that they're then having this argument and i think it's this thing about him not fitting in in, in that world or and kind of he's turning that on her and and saying you know you don't belong in this world and she says well you know maybe i do and at one point he calls them freaks as in her friends and the people which is yeah sort of very sudden but they're having an argument and obviously that really gets a back up which you can understand and yeah sort of a harsh line it comes out of nowhere and it's yeah feels a little forced it feels a bit like yeah you're going through this kind of typical melodrama this very conservative versus liberal and 
it's just done, been done before really it's, it doesn't really bring anything new although again it might develop and might do something a bit more interesting we'll have to wait and see but yeah a lot of stuff with Laura Linney is effective I think just because of what a good actress she is so it was certainly a watchable episode there are issues I think I think once you move away from the Mary Ann character the Anne character and the Ellen Page character I think the 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 other characters, I haven't really felt their drama yet. They, they at the moment feel quite undefined, and you, there's a lot of characters, and this, in a way, this is sort of whizzing around them quite fast, and you're only getting bits and pieces. And again, maybe there's too many characters, but I think this is part of the issue. Then it feels very political, very sort of box ticking it's a lot more diverse casting even more so than the first show which is fair enough but it does feel a bit like that pushing buttons sort of um thing and because of that it feels very forced and on the nose and i think these characters a lot of the other surrounding characters at the moment just feel very yeah very middle of the road very quite bland and just not not the same level of investment i mean there's there's a plot involving two characters who are essentially pretending to be gay sort of thing for appearances you know because it they feel it would be frowned on in in the community and so they're essentially it's it's a boy and a girl so they're essentially pretending to be a straight couple as as a as a cover and one of them obviously voices um her, her concerns and her disapproval and so you get a little bit of that and yeah but a lot of that feels forced a lot of that feels um tacked on and rather than actually making good drama out of it it just feels yeah like it is you know box ticking or then it just develops into this this quite melodramatic sort of soapy type plot and yeah i think that's that's gonna be the struggle of it then it, it it does it still feels as a sort of a soap opera sort of has a sitcom sort of um vibe to it but we'll see i mean obviously it's it's um staying true to at least the roots of the original show and it, it was a solid first episode i found it watchable i think it's just whether it can build on the characters and the stories and really yeah really bring something really bring something different to it besides you know being a bit more upmarket than the original which at the time as i said was probably quite groundbreaking and there was a little twist I, I think it was the last shot or certainly late on when the Anna character got a note saying um, the note saying I know you're a fraud that sort of thing so that is how the episode ended for Anna at least so that's obviously going to be that's obviously going to be a hook now who, who wrote that note to Anna so there you have it that's the first episode of the revival of tales of the city it is a mini series on netflix and i will be back with the second episode soon so this is going to be a busy weekend for me coming soon there will be more buffy the vampire slayer reviews but also starting this weekend in the uk we have the handmaid's tale season three 
We have Kill in Eve Season 2, which is tomorrow. And we also have Big Little Lies, the second season of that, coming up on Monday. That debuts in the UK, so that's all very exciting. When it rains, it pours, and I will be across those shows and giving my thoughts on them as well. So thank you for listening to this video or watching, and like and subscribe, leave any comments below how I can improve and stuff like that and also comment on what you thought of the episode so thank you very much goodbye